This is my motor and propeller rest stand. I want to measure the thrust, current and speed of my A2212 13 d 1000 kV brushless motor and a 10 inch by 4.5 inch propeller. I'm using a 30 ampere ESC and a 3 cell LiPo battery. For measuring the current, voltage and speed I have this unit as two. A light sensor to measure the rotational speed is connected with it. The unit test also stores this data so that I can look at it later or transfer it to a computer. For the thrust measurement I have this scale. The motor is mounted on a wooden stick which is glued in a wooden plate. On this plate I put two weights to make it heavier than the maximum thrust that I possibly could get. The wooden construction around it is there to prevent the air from influencing the scale and also for safety in case the wooden stick starts to tilt if something goes wrong. The sides are covered with cardboard, the front with transparent film. I will look at the RPM value shown on the unit test and write it down with the thrust value manually. Afterwards, I made this diagram in OpenOffice Calc. I entered the measured data in this spreadsheet and after some fighting with Calc, it drew these nice curves for me. If I want to see how much current and thrust I have, for example at 4000 RPM, I only have to go up to the appropriate curve and then to the left for the current and to the right for the thrust. And here again for 6000 RPM. With this data I can calculate how heavy a multicaptor can or should be and how long I can fly with it. The data is also important if I want to compare different propellers or motors. Calculating the efficiency of the motor-propeller combination at different rotational speeds is also possible. Maybe I will repeat the measurement with more thrust measuring points, a fully charged battery and a better propeller mount one day, but I'm happy with the results. This motor-propeller combination is certainly good enough for my planned quadrocopter.
Thanks for watching and you are welcome to leave me some feedback or questions in the comments.